Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We are at Luke 23, today verse 44 and 45. Jesus is being crucified. Let's see what happens next. Now it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And that's where we're going to just, just take that slice. So it's the middle of the day here. Jesus, uh, there's darkness for a period of three hours. And uh, then the temple, the, the curtain is torn in the temple. Now, you might know the temple had different spaces. And there's this, this uh, curtain separating one space from another space. And it's our understanding uh, that that would be a cloth curtain and that it was around two inches thick. I could probably tear this, this shirt. It's a little bit thick shirt to me, maybe six to sixteenth of an inch thick. I might be able to tear that. I might not. But to tear something that's made out of cloth that's two inches thick, that might be kind of a project. That might not be something you or I could immediately do. In fact, I don't know that there's any human person who could tear a heavy cloth, two inches thick of cloth, and just rip it from top to bottom. So Matthew tells us, Luke doesn't, but Matthew tells us that this curtain was torn from top to bottom. So all the way up high, and this was this was like multi-stories high. So this is torn from way up above where anybody is standing. I wonder how it got torn. Well, I, I believe, and there's a belief that the angels ripped this thing, or that the Father himself ripped it in two, because this was the laying open the way Jesus was by his body, by his sacrifice, he was opening the way to the most holy and so the, this thing is torn from top to bottom and Luke here simply says that the veil was torn and so there you have this this is the moment we're coming right here coming to the moment when Jesus is going to die we'll talk about that tomorrow morning but interesting business here how there's all these signs nature itself cries out darkness and earthquake and these different things are happening and here as we compare the four gospels uh, and as we look here, we see the, the veil of the temple is torn, and we are at the moment when Jesus will give his life for us. All undeserving, but because he loves us, because he's full of other love, he's going to go through all the way. What a blessing. So, nature cries out as its maker, Jesus, will now expire. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, what a day that was, and one day we will see the uh, the video, so to speak, whatever record there is of it. I'm sure we'll be shown that again, and I'm sure we'll want to uh, walk through that time with Jesus and relive it and see it, Lord, and, and, and that'll strengthen our sense of your goodness. So, Lord, now we're looking at this. This is the end. Jesus is going to give his life for us. Help us to have some sense of the magnitude of this so that we may turn to you and be right with you, ourselves, and go into eternity with Jesus. Lord, this we pray, and we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, may God bless you today.